Cameron Hopman. Well, a gorgeous day today. We had high pressure really dominating much of the region early this morning. Cloud cover, a few isolated rain showers. That high pressure system did away with all that cloud cover. Now situated over parts of Michigan on its eastward trajectory, keeping the skies above southern Wisconsin. Nice and clear for now, but it's also helping to warm things up. We're not necessarily seeing that right now, however, where some of us are nearly 20 degrees cooler right now than we were last night at this time. Lone Rock, 19 degrees cooler. Montello, about 18 degrees cooler currently than they were just 24 hours ago. Here in Madison, we're about 7 degrees cooler, and it is a little on the chilly side right now. 53 degrees, your current temp, but again, winds are shifting. We saw northerly winds throughout the last 24 to 36 hours now shifting back to the southeast as that high pressure system kicks to the east of us and that will make all the difference over the next 24 hours. There's your winds primarily I would even say from the east, but yeah, we'll call it southeasterly winds getting up to around five, maybe 15 miles per hour in a few spots and over the next several hours we'll see temperatures on that gradual decline. But as we see temperatures bottom out in the upper 40s and low 50s, isolated cloud cover begins to settle back in over the region, and that's going to act as a bit of an insulator, keeping temperatures at the surface a little more mild as we wake up early Saturday morning. Now, we do get a shot to see more of that Aurora Borealis tonight. You probably have seen rumblings online or social media about a major solar storm. We've had a few uh, solar flares over the last several days, and that is now going to be affecting the Earth, which could give way to some of that northern light. So get out after the show, of course, look north, maybe get away from some of those city lights, and you could possibly see some of those northern lights late this evening before those clouds do indeed return. So scattered cloud cover at times early tomorrow morning, gradually dissipating as the day wears on. However, if you don't stay up late for those Aurora Borealis chants, you might want to get out tailgating early tomorrow morning. 56 degrees at 8 o'clock by 10. We're up to around 64 degrees, but it is going to be a windy one tomorrow. Temperatures will be warm, but this is why strong southeasterly winds gusting as high as 25, maybe 30 miles per hour at times Saturday afternoon. And that could affect that Badger game. Badgers take the field against Purdue at 11 o'clock. 67 degrees at kickoff. That sounds cool. It'll be a little breezy, but as the game wears on, look at this. We're at 70 at halftime. By the time Jump Around's playing, we're at 72 degrees. And high temperatures tomorrow, all the way back up to 80 degrees. It is going to be a mild day, but we have another cold front swinging through. This is Saturday evening. There's your temperatures in the mid to upper 70s and low 80s. As that cold front swings in, it's going to push through and bring about another cool down. Watch this. We'll see temperatures from 80 degrees on Saturday to 65 degrees on Sunday to 41 degrees early Monday morning. So over about a 36 hour period, we dropped nearly 40 degrees, all thanks to one stinking cold front. <laughs> We're back up to around 66 Monday, 68 degrees by next Tuesday.